Hey, it's Dr. Story. I'm going to go on a 62-ish mile bike ride today and 100 kilometers. What do I eat on these rides? I'm going to show you in this video. So here what we have is what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with two water bottles. I'm going to put these on my bike here. And I use water. I don't use um, energy drinks or uh, Gatorade or anything like that, especially on a 100 kilometer ride because I just don't feel I need it. I don't like the sugar. Uh, for me personally, it doesn't digest very well. Then I'm gonna have a banana, okay? That's important, I'll probably use that at the end of the ride. And let me put it in my pocket here. And then I've got today an RX bar, and this is an apple cinnamon. Holy cow, these are good. Now how this works is, the reason I, I'm using these, I also use Cliff Bars too, they're very similar. This has 210 calories. Uh, it's got 12 grams of protein and it's got 23 grams of carbohydrate. Now, what I do is I subtract the fiber from the carbohydrate to get a more accurate reading of the carbohydrate. There's five grams, so it's 18, technically it's 18 grams of carbohydrate. So 12 of protein, 18 grams of carbohydrate. And the reason I like that is because you don't get those, those sugar highs. I find that if you eat a lot of high carbohydrate, uh, very simple sugars during a bike ride. It seems like you're always chasing the carbohydrate circle, uh, like you're chasing your tail, trying to stop yourself from bonking. And I find that when I eat foods that have uh, a certain amount of protein relative to carbohydrate, meaning basically for every seven-ish grams of uh, protein, you get nine to 10 grams of carbohydrate. That seems to work the best for me. I just never get any of that feeling like you're gonna bonk. You just almost maintain a, a normal blood sugar throughout. Also, this has quite a bit of fat in it, nine grams, and what fat does is it reduces the speed with which the carbohydrates are digested. Um, so that sounds counterintuitive to what most people think about uh, carbohydrates and long distance cycling, because you think you want simple sugars, easily digestible sugars like glucose, and you put it in your mouth and it gets easily digested and into your bloodstream. Well, the problem I find is that you get these highs and lows. So I got an apple cinnamon, put it in my pocket. And then I have this, this is fantastic, uh, this flavor, coffee, coffee chocolate, holy cow. So this has the same uh, 12 grams of protein. It's got 23 grams of, uh, sh of uh, carbohydrate minus the five grams of sugar, makes it 18. It's got nine grams of uh, fat. Also, I'm gonna read to you on these bars the uh, ingredients, and listen to what it says. It says dates, egg whites, almonds, cashews, chocolate, natural flavors, cocoa, sea salt, and coffee. Those are things I can read. Let's see what it says on the, uh, didn't even read you the ingredients here. Let's see what it says on this one. Uh, dates, egg whites, almonds, cashews, apples. Not apple flavoring, but actually apples. That's what you wanna hear. And then natural flavors and cinnamon. Not cinnamon flavor, not cinnamon substitute, not some chemical I can read. So that's my, my beef with some of the other, um, I'm gonna call them chemicals that we put into our body when we're riding a bike. I, found, I find that this works the best for me, so I'm gonna put these in my pocket. Also, uh, just so you know, I like to eat food uh, approximately-ish every 20 miles. So on a 100 kilometer ride, uh, I'll eat at 20 miles, 40 miles, and then by 60-ish miles, I'm kind of home. But I always carry one extra because it kind of looks like it might rain today. I'm not sure, this is the clouds. But what's gonna happen is uh, if I feel up to it, I always wanna have a little extra food just in case I wanna do an extra 20 miles. So if I decide to do 80 miles today um, and I'm feeling good and it's not raining, I'm gonna go for it. And that way I have an extra piece of food uh, for me. So, hey, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments section what you eat on a 100 kilometer ride, what seems to work good for you. Uh, and hey, let's get out there.